back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we're going to try Untitled Arts uh, Rocket Popsicle Hard Seltzer. Now, I believe this is version 3, but I could be wrong. Um, there's two on Untap. There's version 2 and version 3. And version 2 had more blue. Like the label different. Here. Not blue over here, but here. So, I don't know. And that said, it was uh, blue raspberry flavoring. This doesn't. This just says malt beverage with natural flavors and uh, color. Vegan friendly. 5% ABV. $4.29. At Megabev. At Megabev. There's been a lot of these, right? I don't know. I. It's... Fourth of July week, and so I bought these, and then we never got around to drinking them last weekend. So, oh <laughs> boy. Okay, so we just we did the <laughs> we did the review for the um, blue raspberry. It was in a black can. I did that one with you, blue raspberry. This color is beautiful. <laughs> That is, like, the most beautiful blue. You you want blue. Like, that's blue. That's It's like it's blue oh, jello. Oh, on my face. Huh? Is it Mrs. Too bad. No, you're fine. It's so beautiful. But do you think a bomb pop? A bomb pop melted is purple. Yeah, I was going to say. Remember when Rita and I yeah, did that? We um, had a, it was red, white, and berry. Yeah, with bomb pops, and it was purple because right. obviously the red and blue mixed together. It, so. it looks good for the color, anyway. Smell. Oh, wow. That blue is raspberry. That smells like a, a sweeter, like, obviously, there's no such thing as a blue raspberry, but like bubblegum and hard candy blue raspberry. This that's, doesn't smell as bad as blue raspberry bubble yum bubble gum. I, because that's more of a that's super sweet. It's yeah, sweet, but it, like yeah, it's got that sweetness, but it's not overpowering it. I want to drink it. Can yeah, we drink I'm sure it? you do. <laughs> okay, let's taste. It's not really flavorful. Well, and that's why I looked over, because this says malt beverage. Is a hard seltzer considered a malt beverage? I don't think it is, is it? I don't know, but so darn pretty, though. It, it's there. It's so, so demure. Yeah, watered down. It is, it is, like, there's not even an aftertaste. I mean, I guess I'm glad it's not super sweet, like, but, um... Like, the tartness isn't there, the sweetness is there, a little sweetness, but then that blue raspberry or whatever you want to say, it's there, but it's very muted, watered down, huh? I was really, really hoping this to be outstanding and i give it a three out of five. Oh, i'd go a little higher than that i'd go 3.75 like i would drink this again just to drink it but i there's no flavoring there more. there's some but yeah i for, for the what the color looks like it's not there in the taste right and i think okay so i guess Comparatively speaking, a malt beverage would be like the Smirnoff Red, White, and Berry. I, oh, yes. Okay, I like those. That tastes like berries. Yeah, I could. This is saying rocket. There's a vodka version of that, right? Yes. That's what we mixed with the Bomb Pops. Uh, right, but oh, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Red, White, and, and berry, berry has... Vodka? No, there's a vodka version and there's a malt beverage version version i believe yeah and that's what we have upstairs other malt ones malt yes so the rocket popsicle i thought that was what this was going to taste like but it's not it's didn't claim to be berry 
those are malt beverages. They're red, yeah. white, berry. I guess but I that, had... That's why I was saying at the beginning, this says malt beverage, but then it says hard seltzer. I know, but if I went and grabbed one of those, I would say <laughs> it probably says the same thing on those. I don't... Because it's not vodka, it's malt beverage. The Smirnoffs are malt beverage. Right, but it's not going to... I don't believe that would say hard seltzer anywhere. Well, we'll see. But I believe this tastes more like a seltzer, and I don't believe a hard seltzer it's not, and a malt yeah. beverage are the same thing. It's not malty. No, but it's going to be made different. It's so pretty. Yeah, hard five seltzer. Five out of five on the color, though. Is what they're um, saying on Untapped. One of my friends checked it in, 4 out of 5, almost 3,000 people, 3.89 out of 5. Sweet, candy, fruity, bright, thin. Why would you put thin? It's a hard seltzer. Um, no jinx. See, but see, this one's from 21, September 12th, 2021. So maybe that was, ver That's this is the wrong. I'm guessing they probably make it relatively the same recipe um, every year. See, this Maybe says blueberry, cherry, lemon, sour. But see, that, I guess if you look at it there, verse there. So maybe the can's been the same. I I don't know. The Version 2, the last person to check this in was on June 4th, 23. Oh. But I'm going with version 3. But why would it be version 2? Why would we have version 2 if version 3 is out? Yeah, best by twelve one twenty four, so this has to be version three. Yeah, so um, yeah, definitely nailed the flavor. Yeah, so if you want to try it, go ahead and pick it up, right? Yeah. If you don't, don't. We're gonna drink another bomb pop one. <laughs> That's what we got. More. I have high hopes for that. That's why we <laughs> save some of this so I can compare. I think. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Cheers.